Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Well, in this video, I'm going to review the Western Mountaineering Bison. The Bison is Western Mountaineering's flagship model of sleeping bag. And it's the coldest rated sleeping bag that Western Mountaineering makes. This bag is rated at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Also minus 40 degrees Celsius. This bag's got 45 ounces of 900 fill goose down. This bag has been overfilled. They're supposed to add like five ounces to the bag of over of down. The bag without the overfill weighs four pounds, 13 ounces. So with the overfill, it should weigh five pounds, two ounces. This weighs five pounds, 11 and a half ounces. This has got a lot of extra down in it. The loft is stated to be, I think they stated at 10 and a half or 11. It's got 11 and a half inches of loft. It's a really thick bag. It's about the same loft as my uh, Cypress. My Cypress might have a little more loft, but this is a much more efficient bag. So I'm going to go over the de uh, details. This is a very technically engineered sleeping bag. There's a lot of components to it. I'll start by showing you this wonderful number five YKK zipper that does not snag. It's a coil zipper. It's what Western Mountaineering uses on all their bags. So when you open this bag up, you see it's black inside. And this black material helps your bag to dry out faster. When you open it up to the sun, let the solar rays hit this and it'll dry that down out much quicker than if you didn't have a black interior. This bag has got dual zipper baffles overlapping. The only other bag that has that in Western Mountaineering's lineup is the Puma. The bottom, zip, the bottom zipper baffle is right up against the zipper here. The top zipper, zipper baffle is offset so when you zip it up they overlap each other to create a double thickness of down along the zipper which really is going to help when the temperatures are well below zero this bag has not only got a full down draft collar like Western Mountaineering's other expedition style sleeping bags. It's just packed with down. I mean, this thing is full of down all along there. When you zip it up, so when you get in the bag, Western Mountaineering has provided this really beefy Velcro attachment here and a mating piece here on the other end of the collar. There, that was easy. You just make, make those up so now it's velcroed together. You can reach inside there, pull this bungee cord, pull it tight around your neck. That keeps the air from going down in the bag, cold air from going down in the bag, and keeps the warm air in the bag where it's supposed to be. But in addition to that down collar, on the bison they've included this down ruff that goes around your face area. So when you pull your hood tight, draw your hood tight, You've now got this extra down there to help keep your nose and eyes area warm. This really epitomizes state of the art in sleeping bag design, construction, and materials. It's got these big V block side baffles. Only the Lynx and the Puma have V block side baffles in the bison. 
They're designed to keep the down in place along the side of the bag. All of this down is confined just to this area. All of this down in between these two seams stays in that area. The down on the bottom of the bag stays on the bottom of the bag between this zipper and that seam. All of this design helps to keep the down in place and keep a uniform thickness of insulation around your body. This bag is only available in the Gore Wind Stopper outer shell. It's one of three of Western Mountaineering sleeping bags that is designated as an actual expedition bag. That's due to the temperature rating and the weather resistance. It's a pretty roomy bag. It's got 64 inches of shoulder circumference. It's got 55 inches of circumference in the waist. And it's got 39 inches of circumference at the foot box. It's a pretty roomy bag for a mummy. They kind of designed it that way so that you can add extra layers. And there's room in there for that. Most people don't need a bag this cold. But if you're going to go camping in 40 below, this is the bag you want. Guaranteed. There's other minus 40 degree bags on the market. But this is the crowning glory here. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Um, look at that thing. It's massive. It's huge. Huge. So this one lays this. <laughs> so this one weighs a little more than five pounds. Um, that's a lot. This bag belongs to my son, so I've never actually slept in it, but I'd like to. But I want to make sure the temperatures are at least 30 below in order to do it. It's just obviously a warm, warm bag. But there's other good stuff on the internet about this sleeping bag. I just wanted to throw my two cents worth in. Um, this is an overfilled model. It's got a really beautiful cayenne red outer shell. Um, I mean, the thing speaks for itself. When you look at it, I'll try to show you guys a little more picture of it. A little more about it. Really, really just a super sleeping bag. So I think that's going to wrap up my little review of the Western Mountaineering Bison. Um, if you like this video, you want to see more of them, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll continue to bring you more videos. Believe it or not, I got more Western Mountaineering sleeping bags to show you. A lot of other stuff to show you. So until next video, be safe out there and have fun.